Hello ladies and gents, this is Evan, your friend in some really exciting tutorials. In this video, I'm about to show you my new creation, my new extension in Photoshop that will help you overcome all your designing fears when you have to do your next photo album or photo book. I have created a wonderful Photoshop extension that covers all the creative uh, procedure of a photo album and uh, in the following videos I will show you how easy but also how powerful this extension is. In this video I will show you the creation of the front page and the back page uh, of your next photo album. A superior easy but also powerful feature that uh, will make you see the designing of a photo album or a photo book with a different eye. So I will just go to my panel, of course, uh, you can see this panel here, I have other videos enclosed in the zip file of this uh, product. Uh, which they help you uh, setting and you know fine-tune the album in order to have it already installed in Photoshop. So let's say that you have it already in your Photoshop and uh, you just opened it and you have uh, your next photo album to build. And um, the first step I should say in a photo digital album uh, should be the front and the back cover. Okay, so here I have 20 covers back and, uh, and front covers of your next digital album. Of course, everything is automatic. You just click a button and the cover is uh, ready for you. And then you only have to change the names of the bride and groom. And of course, you have to change uh, the white, uh, the gray actually um, space with your own photo. Okay, so let's see that. First of all, I should go to my photos. Let's say we have a new wedding uh you know maybe yesterday or something and we have already fixed our photographs our photographs are ready to be uh, builded inside the photo digital album or a photo book and uh, you have to find your uh, next design i know that many photographers the most of the photo of, uh, photographers actually they struggle to create a photo book they don't really know where to start where to finish they uh, they tend to uh, spend more time than the usual actually I know photographers that they spend uh, months of creating a photo book and they are never satisfied uh, of this uh, creation. Of course, this program, this extension, the DA Panel version 2 extension will help you create photo albums in hours, my friends. Not uh, Well, actually, if you are... Um, uh, get used of this software, maybe you will be able to create a photo album within an hour. So imagine the uh, the gain time you will get. Okay, so let's say now that we have some photos and we want to start our cover. So we need, you know, a good cover photo to, you know, to uh, make our uh, the wedding couple really proud of their of this day. So I think this photo is a wonderful photo. First of all, I should say that the photos are uh, uh, are created by the Photo GFX business. I will uh, provide the link down below in case you were you're married in Europe and you want a professional uh, uh, photo agency to come and cover your wedding. So this photo looks fantastic for the front page of my album. And so I have to then go and find, actually I just click the button. You see how easy it is. Uh, the button, it was clicked here. So now I can just go and select my design. I have the front and the back page. Of course, you can combine the front and back pages to your own, uh, you know, desires. Uh, I think I need um, a wide, let's say this one, the black areas. Uh, or the dark gray actually they are the titles this gray area it's the image placeholder and of course the white area is the background so i will just click this one and see how easy and how fast the designing process is my cover is ready and all i need to have to do is to change the name and the date and of course the photo so let's just go here i will go to the layers panel i will just uh, double click on the uh, this uh, t icon and i will just uh, name this maybe uh, as um, george and mary or mary and george why not so go and uh, type mary and george okay 
I will just hit the OK, and then I will go and position this in the center. Wonderful. Of course, I can make this larger if I like. It's really easy. And of course, I can change the wedding date as well. So let's just say it was the 1st of January of 2016. Wonderful. Hit again the OK. And we have a wonderful set. The titles are ready. You see how easy it is. You don't really have to find the font. You don't really have to position the things, you know, pretty accurate. They are, uh, I should say, 99% ready for you. And then you go to the photo. I will just click this photo. As you can see, it's a smart object. The smart object in Photoshop means that you have to double click this uh, thumbnail in order to open the contents of this, uh, let's say, gray area. I'll just open this one and the only thing that we have to do right now is just drag and drop this uh, photo in here and this is it my friends then i will just uh, make this a little larger by holding the alt and shift option and shift in macintosh and hit ok and then of course we can just close it from the interface of the da panel of course we have to save it and voila as you can see now the new photo it's going to be here you see that again you don't really have to you know find the right place it is already in the perfect place for you you only change the titles change the photos and now you will be able to add the styles in the background so uh, uh, our photo it is perfectly positioned in the center of my front cover and then I can go and maybe go to the strikes and shadows. I have selected the photo and add some uh, styles. Let's say some shadows. As you can see here, I will just go really close. And I will just step backwards a little bit. OK. And now we'll just press the strokes one. As you can see, I have a shadow over here, a really fine shadow, not so strong. We don't want to make really ugly designs, but, you know, elegant and good looking designs. I think it looks awesome. Of course, I could, uh, yes, I could just uh, use uh, some other, as you can see, strokes, maybe with less shadow or maybe with smaller stroke or maybe with a nice, as you can see, tribal in the stroke wonderful and of course i can go to the six which makes another different pattern and the seven which makes a black with uh, tribal and of course the eight and then we have uh, this is the polaroid effect let's say and this is the uh, boys let's say or a blue stripes and the girls or pink stripes i think the first is really good for me i don't want to mess my front cover with so many designs i want it to be elegant and i want someone that will uh, watch this album maybe 20 years ago um she will not say ah oh, this looks like uh, hell it has so many designs it look it looks like disco in the 80s if you see some uh, disco photos of your mother or your father or yourself if you are old enough uh, from the 80s you will hate yourself or you will say how on earth i was wording these uh, things uh, 20 years ago so my main goal is to have a classic and elegant web album that uh, web actually photo album sorry that someone will be able to admire even after 50 years okay so i want it to be elegant and then I will just go and uh, maybe I will create a background. Why not? I have, uh, again, 10 different designs of albums uh, with patterns, of course. I will just click the first background. I really love this background. It's wonderful. And then we have the number two. Again, pretty nice. I can just go and zoom in order to make you see the difference. This is the first, the flower design. This is the second, this is the third the polka dots let's say the fourth polka dots uh, white and gray background fifth you see that wonderful design again sixth stripes seventh black eighth flowers black nine pink polka dots and ten blue polka dots wonderful as you can see looks awesome and of course i will just go to the one because it's really elegant and See that? It looks wonderful, my friends. Of course, then I can just go and save it. I'll just click the save button. 
and I will go to, let's say, I will create a new folder, which will be a photo, let's say, Mary and George wedding, okay? I like to write the folders like that. I think that the name was right, okay? I don't want to mess the name and have different uh, name of a groom in the folder, so it is okay right now. Uh, the front cover design as a name, I think it is okay and I can uh, save it as a Photoshop or maybe a TIFF or maybe a JPEG with full resolution and full quality actually. Okay, this design, this design uh, has a uh, resolution, has size uh, of uh, 40 to 40 centimeters. Of course, if you go to the Photoshop, actually go to the image, and image size, you will be able to see what 40 centimeters is in inches or pixels or millimeters or picas, whatever you have. As you can see, the inches is the 15.75 uh, almost. So you can realize that uh, it is a big, maybe the biggest web uh, album, you, uh, actually photo album, sorry, that you can create. Of course, from here, you can just lower the dimensions with a click of a button. So if you don't really like the 40 to 40, well, here you can see 40 to 80, it corresponds to the double page design, the open two pages, but for the cover, it's 40 to 40. If you don't want this 40, you can go to 35 or 30 or 25 or 20 or 15 to 30. Let's say that you want to create a big album for the bride and groom and maybe a smaller uh, album for the best man or something or the best uh, woman. I don't know. So let's say that we want to save again this uh, album design in 20 by 20. See that? Just a click of a button and it's ready for you. So now we can go again and save this once more as uh, maybe let's say a front cover design smaller, okay? I'm not going to do this now because you just understand the process of this thing. So this is good for me. I can just close it. So close it. Don't save now. And now let's go and uh, create, uh, why not, a white, uh, a white, uh, a blank, let's say, background with only the logo. Of course, I could just um, use this one. I mean, the back page of my uh, original front page and then just hide this photo if you like. You can do whatever you like here. I don't want to put a back photo. I can just put only the background. So we'll just take the selection tool, right click background, hit the background. As you can see, pattern, wonderful pattern. I really love this pattern and I'm sure that you will love it. And then I will go to the logo. Your logo, you see that? You don't really have to position the logo inside the design. You will just open, double click the logo, a smart object, and then you will just go again to the uh, bridge or uh, whatever you're using to view your photos. I will go to the logo and I will drag and drop this one over here. You see that? It's so easy. It's that easy, my friend. Hit uh, accept, okay, and maybe close or delete the, your logo. Uh, white, uh, gray, let's say, uh, image placeholder. Of course, I will just close and save it. And you see that? Looks awesome. Of course, then I have to position the copyright notice maybe a little tiny higher. And I will just type here photo-gfx.gr. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And you see that? my back cover it's ready of course i can just select the folder take again the move or selection tool and position this lower a tiny bit and we're good to go save it and let's name this back cover back cover design and maybe save it as a jpeg as well and hit ok and this is it my friends in maybe, let's say, wow, so many here, maybe in 10 minutes or so, uh, I showed you the capabilities of this wonderful tab, the front and back covers, cover design tab, and really easy and really fast, we have just created our new back and front cover of uh, our next photo album. You see that? The front, wonderful design, and of course, the back, really elegant, clear, and I should say, really professional design. And of course, this is only 
the beginning. In the next video, I will show you the other tabs, the intermediate and the album page designs, and of course, many other solutions that will help you create fantastic photo albums that will make you and most uh, important, let's say, your clients really proud of your work. Have fun and use the DAP panel version too.